Hey guys, Ken May, Infosec.org. We've talked a bit about a few other hacking tools. Now we're going to talk about uh, commonly available hacking tools such as AeroCrack and AirDump and things like that. I myself use a platform called the Wi-Fi Pineapple. Uh, it's a nice conveniently bundled uh, open source router that runs all these tools with a wireless capture card on it. Uh, you can certainly purchase anything you want and get it to work together on your own but you want to make sure that you've got a Wi-Fi card that can go into monitor mode, sometimes called promiscuous mode. That lets it be able to listen in on all the different packets going across the wireless network. So I'm going to go ahead and SSH into my Wi-Fi Pineapple here. I've got it up on two different windows here, and I'm going to run a couple different tools. So let's take a look at, for example, Airmon, and this will tell me what I've got running on my device. All right, I've got a couple different Wi-Fi cards here. Let's go ahead and start one of them. Airmon ng start WLAN1. We're going to put it into promiscuous mode, into monitoring mode. And now we can check that that's happened. Look at that. Now there is WLAN1 mon. So we are going to now go ahead and create a packet capture of information that is all going to and from the specific Wi Fi access point that we are interested in. So let's see which ones are out there first. We're going to run arrow dump ng and specify that we're going to use the interface that we just put into monitoring mode. Look at that. We've got a bunch of them there. Now I see right there Swift Cloud. That's me. I'm on channel 5 and this is the MAC address of the specific access point. So now that I know what that is, I'm going to specify, I just want to capture the packets going to and from just that specific access point. So I'm going to run arrow dump ng, make sure and capture across channel 5, and just only capture the packets from this access point here. We're going to write it to a file called test cap, and uh, make sure and specify this interface. Now it is running. Let's go ahead and see what we can do over here. Now capturing packets is interesting, but what I want to see in this instance is I want to capture a Wi-Fi handshake packet. A uh, WPA2 handshake packet occurs when a device decides to try to join a network. They interact with each other and the hash of the um, SSID key, the WPA key, is passed across the network. If I have that, I can hack it on my own, I can crack it using something like Hashcat, or I can check it online and see if someone else has already conveniently dumped that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to kick off what's called a, the authentication attack to force all devices that are currently connected to the network to disconnect, so that, that way when they reconnect I can try and capture that packet. So I'm going to run a tool called WDK3, sorry MDK3. I'm going to specify, use this interface, I'm going to do a deauthentication attack, and I already in advance go, went ahead and put this MAC ID inside a file called targets.txt, so I'm telling it only do a deauthentication attack against just that specific access point. All right, that's kicking off. Let's see what happens over here. It's sending packets. Oh, we already caught a, a handshake right there. Look at that, we've captured a couple. So I'll go ahead and Stop that, and I'm going to control C over here, and let's see the file names it made, test cap 01, there it is. So now we're going to go ahead and try and cap and uh, see if there's any handshake cap, uh, packets in there specifically. I'm going to use aircrack ng, let's see what it says. Look at that, one handshake inside there. So now with this cap file, I can convert it into, uh, I think it's hcapx, something like that. So I can dump it over to Hashcat and then run it on my hashing rig to try and crack that password. Thank you guys very much. Have a great day.